This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're going to be reviewing a little golden nugget of Chanel design history. The Chanel heart bag necklace. It's in this, it's enshrined in this little tiny box. Before we get to it, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You can push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Day Cabal spelled together for extra perks. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday and you are all invited to join the conversation. Welcome to my co-chators. You guys, my beating heart is enshrined in this black box. And oh, is the heart ever so black. It's a very Snow White moment. And uh, we're going to open it up. So the heart bag necklace from the Spring Summer 2022 collection comes in this little box. And then it comes in this little pouch. Black pouch, the black heart in a black pouch. And then I also got the, um, you know, microfiber cleaning glove, which you put your hand on and you're supposed to kind of polish your leather goods. But since this heart is so small, it fits inside of the glove. So I use this as an extra um, beautifully soft piece for the lambskin leather because the heart is in lambskin leather. And there it is. It is super tiny. Now, it does come with a little tiny miniature turn lock. Let me show you a close-up of it. There it is, you guys. It's a completely functional, hold on, where is it? Completely functional turn lock, and we are going to open it up so that I can take off the protective felt. And as you can see, we do have a little tiny sewed uh, top flap, and then this is a pocket, but it is so tight, you just, you don't use it. It's a symbolic pocket, let's just say. It's there, but you're not supposed to use it. For what are you supposed to use? For nothing. It's just supposed to mimic the big heart bag. It is very tiny, and it wasn't easy to create such a miniature version of the bag with all the, you know, hardcore detailing. So slight millimeters are off here and there, but that is to be expected. So let me put the turn lock together again, and there it is. Sealed, locked, and ready. Now, on this side, we have the zipper pull with the double C on the heart. The zipper pull has... There you go. The zipper pull has a double C logo, which is on a metal heart. The metal heart is attached via this pressure point there to the leather pull strap. The leather pull strap on these tiny leather goods is glazed on the sides. Now, if you were to purchase the wallet on chain version of the hard bag or the standard size hard bag, the leather pull would not have glazing on the side, but it would instead have inverted leather and then stitched together. So this is... It lacks a little bit when you compare it to the Wallet on Chain version or the Big Bag version because it does have that glazing. You also get the glazing on the wristlet heart as well as on the belt heart. Okay, the top of the bag here where we got the D ring attached to the little metal screw type of shape also has a double C. Now, this is so small. It's kind of really hard to see the double C on top there, but I'm going to try to show it to you. It's right at the, gosh, at the top here. Look how puffy the quilting is and soft, even, no, even though this bag is so tiny, you know. <laughs> and then... 
you got that turn lock, the functional turn lock. And then here, hold on. the double C on the heart. Now, when we open it up, well, there's stuffing inside. And a lot of it. <laughs> it's not like it needs it to keep its shape, but anyway, whatever. You have Gros Grand interior, burgundy interior, classic Chanel. The tiny heart is made in Italy. And it doesn't have any extra pockets. Oh, and then it has that security code in there. And it has this long, long chain. It has a long chain. So what can I tell you about this heart? It's gorgeous. I did not expect this heart to exist in the chain form. I thought that the only hearts that were made, hold on, were the big heart, the actual heart bag that we saw on the runway, the wallet on chain heart that we also saw on the runway, the belt heart, which I don't know if we saw it on the runway, but I saw it on the website. And the wristlet heart, which we saw on the runway. I did not see this one on the runway, although some people say that they have seen it on the runway. Um, like the models wearing it crossbody or something like that. I don't know. I did not know this one existed. Up until a couple of days ago, when by accident I stumbled upon some YouTube video, some YouTuber was unboxing this thing and I was like, what? Is this a fake? How is this possible? Chanel didn't make this. It's not on their website. And then I asked my sales associate, I was like, do you have the heart? And she's like, oh yeah, we do. Actually, we do. I was like, oh my God, it really exists. Fell in love with it immediately and um, have it on my collection. What is this thing for? It, it's literally just a collectible piece. It fits literally nothing. I mean, you could put coins in there if you wanted to but as you can see once you open the zipper it's hard to access the interior of the bag it's not it's not an easy bag to use i mean this thing is literally a symbol it's a miniature version of their heart bag it's a it's a it's the heart bag in miniature and you wear it as a necklace so it's amazing it's the size of a heart it's a little bit smaller than a human heart but um well the human heart is kind of more it's kind of a little bit to the side here. This was where the human heart would be. Um, and of course, the human heart is a little bit bigger, but it kind of, you know what I mean? It kind of dangles here when you wear it as a necklace close to your heart. And I think when it comes to hearts and Chanel, I think this one takes the cake. Also, because if you think about it, the big heart bag that Chanel released, the actual heart bag that they released this uh, season, you know, we know that Chanel made the infamous heart bag in the 90s with Carl, you know, Carl made the Chanel heart bag, you know, the one, the more, the coquette one with the chain. I reviewed the actual heart bags in another video of mine, so be sure to check that out. And I compare it to the modern day heart bags, which are a little bit more conservative. And I end up saying, you know, it's more cocotte, it's more, you know, uh, sexualized the heart bag from the 90s. And then since then, Chanel never did another heart bag. Now they brought it back, but now it seems much more conservative. Now, the actual heart bag of today is kind of a new take on the heart bag that we already have from the 90s. But this one is brand new because in the 90s, Carl never designed a necklace heart bag. This one never existed before. So this is the first time that Chanel is actually making this type of small leather good or accessory as a heart bag. So this thing is a first, it's a first time. The actual bag has been done before. And quite frankly, I believe it's been done better before because the 90s version of the Chanel heart bag is kind of cooler than the modern one. I mean, let's face it. But in the necklace form, amazing. And there's no comparison because it's the first time ever they're making it. Now, it does exist in gold, 
baby blue, purple, pink, white, and black. And of course, I had to have black. <laughs> I, I just think black is the most goth. It's kind of the most Chanel of all. It's so beautifully tailored and cut. Look at these the finishes. Oh my gosh. I know that there are slight, as I said, millimeter here and there imperfections. But with a with such a tiny bag, when you're working with such small leather, uh, you know, little tiny millimeter imperfections are bound to happen. Still, all things considered, I think this one is pretty well made for something so tiny. I don't think I would be able to make it this perfect myself, if I have to be honest with you. You know what I mean? This thing... Could it have been more perfect? Sure. Oh, by the way, but it could have been also way worse. <laughs> now, the price is terrible. This thing is not worth the money. I can tell you already. This thing is insanely expensive. Like, it's embarrassing how much Chanel really thinks they can get away with. With me, they got away with it. I'm the sucker who bought it. I agree. <laughs> this is really not worth the money. Um, the big bag and the wallet on chain bag are made in France. The necklace heart bag, bag, <laughs> bag, bag, the belt heart bag and the wristlet heart bags are made in Italy. So those three are made in Italy and the other two are made in France. Um, if you're a hardcore Chanel collector like I am and if you love Chanel necklace bags like I do, I love their munchkin, little tiny munchkin bags, then this is the this is the way to go. Like you have to have this in your collection. Chanel knows this. So Chanel really cashes in on it and says like, oh yeah, you like these little things, huh? We're going to charge you double. And they do. They literally charge you double. This thing costs double the amount of, let's say, something like this. <laughs> the O case, the 255 O case, Beautiful, de-stressed calfskin leather. I have a little paper poking out of there. Tissue paper. This thing is half the price of this. You see, it makes no sense. Now, this is a kind of a classic piece that is now going out of production slowly. The 255 version, at least, is. And the heart bag is the it piece of the season. So, Chanel knows this. Their marketing team decided to charge double for this than for this. So it's, it's, there is absolutely only insanity when it comes to Chanel. They are crazy. They have gone insane with their prices. And I bought this because, you know, I, I love Chanel and I collect Chanel. But honestly, I do not justify, I, I can't justify the price. I cannot. I think this thing is... It's only worth the price if you're like me, hardcore fan, and you love little pieces like this. But otherwise, no. No. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm honest with you. I'm just, I'm the crazy person who lives for this kind of shit. So I justified for myself. But if you don't live for this, then there's no, there's no way to justify it. Bottom line, bottom line. It's not worth the money. <laughs> it's, it's not. Just being honest here. So let me know your thoughts on the Chanel Heart Collection and the 20, Spring Summer 2022 Prêt-à-Porter Collection with the 90s retro vibes, but reinvented. And what you think about the pricing. Hmm. And if you got this heart, because I, I don't know many people who actually got the heart necklace. Um... I've seen only two people thus far. The heart bag necklace seems to be on nobody's radar because Chanel didn't let us know that it exists. It's super, super rare. This is kind of the rarest of all the five bags because this one is like the best hidden secret <laughs> that Chanel has this season, apparently. So I got really lucky. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thumb up this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Jacob CC, my Chanel Instagram account. <laughs> my private collection 
photos taken by me. Chanel, I know you're watching. Don't don't try any shady shady stuff with me, okay? All right. All right, you guys. Until next time. Never forget to never give up on love. Subscribe.